What's up guys, welcome back to Inside Out Precision. Um, real quick before we get started on today's video, um, been getting a lot of questions on the merchandise here. So it is not sold through Instagram any longer, we actually have a website. Um, so if you go to insideoutprecision.com, there's a ton of different t-shirts, tank tops, hoodies, crew necks, uh, men's and women's sizes, you know, mugs, phone cases, like all sorts of stuff on there, all sorts of merchandise and apparel. Um, so if you head to insideoutprecision.com, that is where you will find losing stuff here. Um, that is where you will find all the merchandise. Um, we got a couple different quality shirts and stuff, a little bit different price points. Um, but I, I love this shirt. It has not shrank. Um, and yeah, just comfortable. Look good, feel good, feel good, shoot good, right? So now that that shameless plug is out of the way, um, we're going to get into today's video, which um, first I'm going to go over some titanium or some products from titanium archery products. Um, I get a lot of questions about this on my PSA EVL, um, and then we're going to also go over some uh, Black Eagle X-Impact arrows. Um, really impressed with these arrows. They got a really cool uh, insert collar system called the Focus System. I'm going to kind of review that and show you why, why I like it so much. Um, let me grab this piece. Ugh. Okay, so Titanium Archery Products was actually super kind and sent me um, some of this new gear. Uh, we had some issues with the cable guards here on some of the, the EVLs. Um, you know, the stock ones are just carbon. Some of them were actually cracking right here at the base. Um, and then some were actually like where the rollers are on them were actually developing grooves over time and actually like starting to bend that, which is going to totally throw your bow out of tune. Um, so my buddy Adam was actually doing a little bit of research and found these guys, um, titanium archery products, and they make an all titanium cable guard. So obviously it's super light um, and much more rigid than carbon. Um, you know, they're affordable. They, they come in multiple different lengths. So just depending on the bow you're shooting, you're gonna wanna measure the length of that. Um, and then, you know, order the one that matches that. In addition to the cable guards, they make a bunch of different string stops. So this is actually what uh, they sent me, is this new string stop. Um, it's also titanium. It's got a nice limb saver rubber piece on it. Um, and then they also make stabilizers, which um, honestly this, you know, it's, it's nothing fancy. It's just a super functional, well-made bar. Um, you know, it's small diameter. Um, this is 8.75 inches, and then you add, you know, the weights on there and a quick disconnect, and it gets you up to 10 pretty darn quick. Um, been shooting it. It, you know, for the most part, short stabilizers are, are pretty simple. It's a lightweight carbon bar. At least what I look for is a lightweight carbon bar and all the weight at the end. Um, and then, obviously, you want one, you know, with a little bit of dampening capabilities, and uh, this seems to check all those boxes. So, um yeah, got a really nice quick disconnect here. Comes with all, everything you need. Um, they do only come with two ounces on the end. I shoot a little more weight than that, but they accept, you know, these are like some spider stabilizer weights that I threw on there. Um, so, you know, it comes with some all thread and you can make it however much weight you want on the end. So go check them out, Titanium Archery Products. Like I said, they got cable guards, string stops, and stabilizers. Um, so, that is that for Titanium Archery Products. Now, um, we're gonna look at, okay, so these are the X impacts from Black Eagle. Um, actually, my old PSE rep is also a Black Eagle rep. Um, he sent me these to play with, and I am extremely impressed with these. I mean, I love my, my Axis four mils, don't get me wrong, um, but these X impacts are a micro diameter shaft as well. Um, and Black Eagle does things a little bit differently than other shafts, so um, in a Previous video, I mentioned how most, pretty much every other arrow company that I can think of, um, let's say it's a, a .001 shaft such as this, they only guarantee that tolerance for one 28 inch continual stretch of the arrow. Meaning that technically, if you want to you know, get the most out of that arrow, you wanna cut from the front and back, because most likely that middle 28 is gonna be the, the straightest, or at least in the tolerance that it says. Um, Black Eagle maintains that tolerance throughout a 32 inch portion of the shaft. So pretty much the entire shaft. Um, I can tell you, so on our little straightness measure, my, um, my four mil axis, they moved. Some of them were perfect. Some were like half a thousandth. So that needle would bump like a half thousandth. These literally 
the needle does not move. It's pretty crazy to watch. Um, probably the straightest carbon arrow I've actually ever put on that straightener. Um, in addition to that, and I think this has to do with the, the way that the, the arrow is actually made, like their process in building, I cannot feel a stiff spine on my spine locator with these arrows, um, which is pretty awesome because like on the axis, there's a very definite tall and short spine or stiff and, you know, less stiff spine. Um, and they are really sensitive to that spine. Like when I was doing my knock tuning, I mean, just rotating that a little bit would throw the tear totally different with the bear shaft. These, I checked all 12. Um, I cannot feel any noticeable spine on these. I, that, I'm not sure that that means they don't have one. They very well could, but it's probably gonna not affect um, the arrow in the same way that it does on those axis. Um, so awesome shafts. These are the 250s. Um, I wanted to go a little bit heavier just to give them a try. Um, with the way these are built, they come in, so they're cut 30 and a half inches. These are the TAC, TAC driver 2.75s. Um, and then this insert system, which I'm gonna cover here in a second, is 80 grains with a 100 grain point, And they come in right at like 492. Um, so kind of that sweet spot. Generally with the hunt and arrow, I like stuff in that like, you know, 480 to 500 range. So this falls right within that. Um, so let's get to this insert system. So like I said, this is the focus system. Um, this one is actually totally built, so, but I have one here that I can show you that's not. So there's three parts to this. Um, so you have the insert that's gonna go glue into your arrow here. Get that in there. All the tolerances are super tight on this too. Like there is zero slop. Um, then the collar here, um, they are different sizes for the different spines, but they will send you the correct size with the spine that you're, for the spine that you're shooting. So this is actually gonna slip over a ways. And then there's this set screw right here to focus on that. And that actually drops down. Oh, of course I just dropped that. There it is. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so this actually drops down into the collar and you just take an Allen wrench and you tighten this down. And this is actually going to hold that collar to the insert that's in your shaft. Now what's cool about this is that your field point is actually going to screw in into the collar, not into the insert. Um, and what this allows you to do is a, if you, you know, do break an arrow, um, I don't glue these, these collars on the, between that screw and a field point, like they shouldn't move, the inserts glued in. And again, there is zero slop here. Um, but what's awesome about this is like, if you're indexing broadheads um, to get your blades to line up with your veins, you don't have to do anything to the insert or the arrow. You can literally just loosen that little set screw and just turn the whole, in, or the whole collar with your broadhead till it lines up and then tighten down that little set screw again and it's locked in place. So really, really cool system from them. Um, I don't know what all the different weights, I haven't looked a lot at, the, at their lineup. They might have different weight inserts, um, but like I said, this, this system right here weighs 80 grains. Um, for those of you who are gonna ask about FOC, with a 30 and a half inch arrow, this comes out to 15.2% FOC. So pretty much right in the sweet spot. Um, I think it's an awesome system. You know, we've been an Easton dealer forever. I have nothing wrong with Easton. Um, but if you are looking for a great arrow, um, I would definitely suggest checking these out. So they got a couple, they got two different micro diameter shafts. They have the X impacts and the deep impacts. The diameter is gonna be the same on them, but the deep impacts are gonna be a higher grain per inch. So if you're looking for a little heavier setup, you can run the deep impacts. Um, you know, this is a little bit lighter grains per inch. Um, but like I said, at, at my specs, it ends up being pretty much exactly what I want. Like right just under 500 grains, keeps your bow quiet, you know, still got good speed out of it. I think when I, when I chronoed this, these were going 279. So basically right at 280. I mean, that's 70 pounds, you know, 30 and a half inch draw length out of my EVL. Um, so plenty of speed, lots of weight, small diameter. They're going to hit hard. They're going to penetrate well. Um, now I've heard, and I don't know if there's any truth to this. I have heard from people that have shot Black Eagle that they think they might be a little bit more brittle um, than, than like Easton's. Um, part of that is because Easton actually, like if you break an axis arrow, you'll see this kind of like white material in between the layers of carbon. And it's actually like a, 
I don't know if it's an epoxy, but it's some sort of like bonding, binding agent. Um, that does help with not being brittle, but it also, like if I bend, if I take a, a, an axis arrow and I bend it for 10 seconds, it will have a little bit of memory there. Now, obviously, you know, it's gonna go back to straight eventually. And I don't know who's out there just bending their arrows all the time to test. <laughs> um, but that is something to consider. Um, I would guess that because they don't have any bonding agent like that, that's why they say they're a little more brittle. But I always take that with a grain of salt because it's like, you know, people come in and they say, oh yeah, my, these, arrows are, these arrows are weak. And it's like, well, yeah, because you're shooting rocks with them. Like you're missing and, you know, hitting rebar and aluminum fences and, <laughs> and stuff like that. Like I would expect an arrow to break um, if you're hitting something hard like that. So I don't think there's a whole lot of truth to that. Um, but like I said, they, they are pretty cool. Like, I don't know what their process is exactly for building. That's obviously probably, you know, kind of hush hush for them because that's their kind of their proprietary deal. Um, but like I said, I cannot find that stiff spine or that, that spot where it wants to catch on the, on the spine finder. So very cool arrows. I'm looking forward to shooting these. I think I'm going to shoot these for hunting. Um, I was going to shoot my axis four mils. I mean, they're shooting awesome. There's really no reason not to, but they, they are a little bit light. They're only like 448 grains. Um, they're flying at like 306 out of this bow, um, and they are tuned perfectly, but this does quiet the bow down a little bit. It's going to hit a little bit harder. Um, so I don't know. I'm going to play around with them. Um, I generally, I'm kind of breaking my cardinal rule, which is like, once you find an arrow, stick with it. But I, for the sake of this video and just to play around with stuff, I'm, I'm going to give them a whirl and see what happens. Um, so definitely. You know, you can get these offline or if you have a dealer near you, you know, go in and check these out. They are really cool arrows. So if you have any more questions about these, feel free to comment below. Please refrain from calling the shop right now. Um, I, we've been getting a lot of calls from people that have watched these videos. In October, once things slow down, I'm happy to field your, your phone calls here. Um, but I, I just, none of us have like 15 or 20 minutes to discuss the mystical flight of the arrow um, this time of year. We're just absolutely buried. Um, so anyway. I will get back to you online and on, you know, on YouTube and on, on Instagram. Um, but please, please refrain from calling the shop. It would do us a solid right now. Anyway, um, thanks for watching today. Good luck to everybody going out next week. We open here in, well, a week from tomorrow. So um, if you're watching this video on Saturday, we're going to be hunting next Saturday. Uh, so good luck to all you guys. Hunt hard, be safe, and remember, precision is a decision.